So guys, uh, we, we hung out in this little garage for a little while and now we're heading back because the fights are going to start and the wings are not going to eat themselves. So we're going to go head back to the house, got a little bit of a ride. Uh, my brother's going to come over, we're going to get festive and uh, watch UFC 194. All right, so we're on a night walk. I decided this whole vlog is going to be shot outside at night and somehow we made it back to this garage. This garage is like a really fun <laughs> nighttime activity because it's not completely dark. Like there's lights here, we can kind of ride around, there's open space, so. And it's smooth too, so if we're riding like the hoverboards or the boosted board, it's pretty sweet. I don't know if you guys have like a parking garage by your house, but as a kid I had that too. Like growing up, there was this parking garage that we would go play hockey and football on top of because I had like five siblings and friends over all the time. So we would have these epic hockey and football games on top of this garage, this parking garage. It was always empty at night and this reminds me of that because it's like a little spot and it's just such a cool thing to have like night adventures are so much more fun when you have like a spot like this. Ah, oh, got it. All right, so there's this outdoor area where it's actually darker and there's a guy parked over there probably doing something he's not supposed to be doing in his car. And then there's a homeless guy. Guys, this is intriguing stuff. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's stuff going on here. Life happens at night, you know? It just happens. Why don't I do all my vlogs at night? This is so cool. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just change my vlogging channel to a night vlogging channel and then just go on adventures. Not like those kind of adventures though, that's weird. Gabs, which camera are you, are you vlogging with? Both of them. Why this do you? is me, Gabs, and this is me, Jenna. <laughs> That's you, Jenna? Yeah. Guys, okay, so we can see those stars on the vlog right now, but I can't even see some of them in real life, which is nuts. I'm just letting in all the light, and then this is all dark back there. Guys, if you have an idea uh, of like things I could do at night that I normally wouldn't be able to do with just like a stock iPhone camera, let me know. Cause I wanna do some cool night stuff in the vlogs because I can film stuff that we can see at night that we wouldn't be able to see otherwise. So um, I think we're gonna walk a little bit now, uh, leave the garage. Guys, be careful of that danger. It's very dangerous. Look what happened to that guy, not a joke. Guys, this danger is not a joke. There's danger everywhere here. Careful of all the danger. All right, we, uh, we're leaving our garage and the ISO is a little bit higher now. <laughs> Gabs is looking at me like, what the fuck language is ISO? <laughs> Jason's playing a loop of me saying bear in slow motion and it's <laughs> creeping everyone out. Right here, is it? <laughs> so weird. Yeah, I'm carrying around Jenna's vlog camera because we're vlogging for her because she took a nap and it's funny and hopefully she can use it in her vlog because she would do the same thing for me, honestly. If I fell asleep and I didn't make a vlog yet, she would vlog for me and she has done that before. That's why I love her. Well, that's not why I love her. That quality in her is why I love her. I can see the stars, it's crazy out. Look at all those stars, guys. It's fucking dope. What, what a cool night. Yeah, you guys can see more stars than us. Uh, so I never really told you my thoughts on the fights tonight. Uh, and I figured now would be a good time to do that. Like a little walk and talk at night. First of all, the fights more than exceeded my expectations. I was so crazy excited going into this card with UFC 194. It's just probably the biggest card I've ever experienced because it had so many cool fights. Conor McGregor was amazing and that quick knockout is just a testament to his complete poise under pressure. There was so many things about Aldo that made me feel like he was rattled by all the um, talk that McGregor had kind of thrown his way. So that was incredible. Chris Weidman wasn't his night. I still think he can beat Luke Rockhold, but Luke Rockhold fought a hell of a fight. And like I said before, the, the co-main event, if either four of these guys win the next fight, I wouldn't even be surprised. Whoever wins, I'm not even surprised because there's four of the best fighters in the entire world. I felt like the Yoel Romero fight was a little tainted because Yoel can fight dirty sometimes. Anyway, it was a blast. It was a really fun night watching the fights. My brother came over, like I told you, and uh, he hung out with us. I love hanging out with him. A long time ago, when I first got into MMA, my brother and I would, we would go down to the local bar and watch the fights together. So uh, our love for MMA is a shared passion that goes way back. Um, but anyway, it was a great night and it's kind of nice to just like explore right now. Uh, although I missed my, my my boo thing. I wish she was with us. Maybe we'll go back and go to her into another walk. We'll see. All right, we are going back to the house now and uh, gonna see what's up for the rest of the night. Maybe it's nothing, but I really did have a fun night just exploring the night vlog. And uh, like I said before, let me know what you guys want to see in terms of me going out and doing stuff at night because this is fun stuff. So. Give me ideas for night adventures and I will make them happen. I will make them a reality for you to watch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog or tonight's vlog. Um, 
thanks for watching vlogmas day 13 and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one later